Hello and welcome to Mafia. I'm the newscaster of our small town. My name, Murphy Durr. We have never had a murder in this town, and we don't expect that there will be one ever. So, let's all go to sleep. Hey, what's up? I'm Fernando Valdez, and I'm the taxi driver, but I also went to med school, so I'm the nurse. I am Brendan Coney, and I am an innocent. Hello, my name is Savannah, and I'm innocent. What's up? My name's Grant, I'm innocent, and I have Lucy's yellow shoes on. <laughs> Little does everyone know, the Mafia has moved into Murder Town for reasons unknown. Mafia, please wake up. What? I like the boots. Me and Grant switch. I'm Lucy, and I'm Mafia. I was really stoked. I am never Mafia. I love to kill people, theoretically. Hey, I'm Kieran. I'm the Mafia. I'm really excited to be Kieran's partner. I feel like he is a great partner for Mafia. We're usually on the same wavelength as well. I'm really excited uh, to be Mafia. I'm really excited to be teamed up with Lucy. Uh, we make a good pair in whatever game we play. I feel like we can just make eye contact and, and know, know what the plan is. Acknowledge each other and point to who you want to murder. All right, Mafia, go back to sleep. You've had a hard night. Doctor, please wake up. I want to kind of go by nurse instead of doctor, you know, like pay respects, you know, there's a lot of people in the medical field, but I was a taxi driver and who went to medical school? The only doctor or nurse in this town, please point to who you want to save. But like they always say, when you go on an airplane, always put your oxygen mask before you put on someone else. All right, doctor, you've had a hard night. Please go back to sleep. And the sun rises on Murder Town. Everyone wakes up nice and refreshed. Welcome to your morning news. Lots of hard nights. My strategy is essentially don't let them know that I'm an innocent or mafia or doctor. I want them to think I'm innocent or the doctor. Although it's better if they don't know that I'm the doctor because if they know that, then they can off me and then I can't do anything else. But as an innocent, I'm basically just there as an extra vote to try and get the mafia out of there. Stop stealing shit. <laughs> and now, everyone tunes in, in to the morning news. It's a thankless job, but someone has to. Brendan is hired to heave a piano up to the side of a building to move it into the penthouse. With great strength and years of experience, it's mere muscle memory bringing the piano to the top floor. Their focus is so sharp that they are shocked by the sudden stabbing pain in their side. They jolt, drop the piano, and are crushed under the weight of it all. Brendan, what hurt you more, being sharp or being flat? <laughs> and that ends the 9 o'clock news. Yeah, I was crushed by a piano. <laughs> All right, people of Murder's Town, Murder Town, please talk amongst yourself. Figure out who you think did this horrible crime. How could there have been a murder in Murder Town? We have great bike trails. You can walk them, but you're not supposed no. to. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was driving the taxi last night, and okay, I drove Lucy to Brendan's house. Um, oh. Personally, how would you know it was Brendan's house? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a taxi driver. I drive everyone. No, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy said no to you? No. I did hear a little shift from Lucy when they said, Mafia, wake up. Lucy moved. As soon as they said, Mafia, wake up, I'm over there hearing. You know, like, it's Lucy's own damn fault. <laughs> I heard the shift too. Am I not allowed to be comfortable? No, no, like, I'm like. That's because she pointed at you, right? Huh? I listened around. I heard a shift here. Well, the day is basically done because you spent it all arguing. Now you must, one at a time, say who you think the murderer is. Starting with Fernando. You know, it was really hard. I was looking at everyone and Susie. And I didn't want to pin it 
on the homegirl Lucy, but her chair moved and I knew it was her. That's all it was. Grant? Um, it's Lucy and her rain boots smell bad. <laughs> you smell bad. Lucy? Probably a little bit. Um, I was so busy defending myself, <laughs> didn't get to think about it. I think it's Fernando. Kieran? Um, I think Fernando is usually right on his first call in a round. I think it is Lucy. Um, I, it sucks to have to betray Lucy, stab her in the back like that, uh, but she drew too much heat to herself, and to get the heat off me, I've got to I gotta vote with the crowd and get her get her out of here. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, my vote was going to be Fernando, but it didn't matter anyways because we got outvoted, so. Everyone seems to think it's Lucy, but... Fernando jumped in immediately, very aggressively, and like, he does do that a lot, but it's kind of 50-50 on whether he's like, being honest or not, and everybody was voting for Lucy, and like, she, she was the only other girl in the group, you know? Gotta, gotta, gotta protect her. So I voted for Fernando. In the turn of mob violence, <laughs> all the townspeople ganged up and just killed Lucy. Alright, I didn't. Sorry, Lucy. You know what? But you did. How, how do you think they killed you? I hit I you with know. the taxi and then I cracked <laughs> oh, you. Oh, God! And then I drove right through. Fred had this ready. <laughs> he already knew. You didn't even have to ask. The only thing I remember thinking being voted out was, Why God? Why me? <laughs> and then I realized what happened and that Kieran voted me out. And my second thought was, I fucking hate Kieran. I hope he trips and falls and stubs his big toe. <laughs> Sun goes down to murder town, it's been a big day. Everyone goes to sleep, they're exhausted. Except for, you know, the Mafia, who never sleep. Except when they do, but not right now. Mafia, wake up. Oh, yeah, I, I did, when I did open my eyes initially, I saw Grant had his eyes open, but I don't think he caught on. I like opened my eyes, glanced at him, he still had his eyes open, I just closed mine real quick and then Adam said again and Grant was like, oh fuck, let me close my eyes. So I don't think I don't think Grant realized that that it's me. Muffy point to who you would like to kill. Alright, Mafia, close your eyes. Wow. Have sweet mafia dreams. Doctor, please wake up. It's a little bit of a midnight snack. Who would you like to save? Oh, nice, nice. All right, doctor, please go back to sleep. Your midnight snack is over. And the sun comes up on Murder Town. Everyone wakes up. Oh, and they tune in to the morning news. Now, which one? <laughs> Welcome everybody to the 9 o'clock news in Murder Town. Unfortunately, I have more bad news to deliver. Late last night, Grant leaves his job at the garage. After locking all the doors, he puts away his keys and heads to his car. While he's trying to grab the right car key, tires screech, echoing off the buildings and streets. There's only time for a brief glimpse in the rear view at the freed hubcap hurtling towards you. But objects in the mirror may be closer than they appear. Hub capitation. That. <laughs> so I was really focused on like sitting back and observing everybody this game, trying to like figure people out. Also, Kieran's just impossible to read. He's always this dark, mysterious man. So I can see why they were suspicious of me. I was talking, but less than usual. Just trying to figure out the playing field, so. I feel like that one's on me for not trying to talk more. What's your guys' occupation? I'm, Love Island. I'm an electrician. <laughs> I'm innocent, by the way. You drive a car for your job. <laughs> I probably took the hubcap like when I ran over Lucy. The town was dropping quickly, and I was not one of the murderers, so I was probably next. I feel scared. Grant even said I feel that scared. if it wasn't Lucy, it was this motherfucker. I'm, I'm conflicted because there's a mafia and there's a doctor. And I'm neither one of those. So, 
I have a hard choice. <laughs> I either trust Kieran, who has fucked me over in the past. <laughs> or it's or it's her. Or I, I trust I Fernando, be... even though I am very suspicious of Fernando at the current moment. You shouldn't be suspicious of him. Um, yeah, I, I am. I mean, I voted for you in the first round, so. Yep. But you could be betraying me, Kieran. Wow. You've done it so many times. I heard you, like, step... But now you seem so Her. inclined, and you don't seem defensive at all. So I think it is Garen. My first thought was it was savvy because she like stomped her foot, but then she looked paranoid. Like, and I haven't seen her paranoid like that in a while. But Kieran was just kosher, so it was him. It's gonna come down to me. No, no, you're gonna make a decision. It's gonna come down. We're probably gonna vote for each other. Just for uh -huh. Because exactly. I went. Yeah. And then you're gonna because as a taxi two. driver, I also went to medical school. One. Unfortunately, you guys wasted yet another day. Mm. Might as well not let the squabbling go to waste. It's time to vote as a town who we think the mafia is. Now, Savvy, uh -huh. we'll start with you. <laughs> Why? That's funny. <laughs> Why would you do this to me, That's Adam? Right. <laughs> Why did we start with her? Do I trust the evil guy, or do I trust the guy I'm going to be taking an hour-long car ride home with? <laughs> oh, it, it, it's way better that Savvy had to vote first rather than Fernando, because she was going to wait for us to vote and then make her decision. But her having to vote first and go on what I had already, like, sort of, you know, put the seeds of doubt in her mind that it was Fernando, I think that went better that she went first. Adam, you do this to me on purpose. He, he knows I have a habit of accidentally siding with the Mafia every time, but I don't, I don't know who to pick because Kieran seemed so trustworthy. So I decided to give Fernando one last test and I looked him straight in the eyes. <laughs> no, no. He gave me this weird smile. So I knew in that moment, it had to be Fernando. I'm gonna vote for Fernando. No! <laughs> Kieran, who's your vote? I'll vote Fernando. I mean, it'd be funny if I wanted Savvy, but... Fernando, what's your vote? It's Kieran. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I may not always win Mafia, but I'm always fucking right. Every single video we've had, I'm always right. And in the name, name and words of Robert De Niro, I'm God's lonely one. Uh, Did how, I kill myself? How do you guys kill Fernando? Mm. Mm. I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bear to watch. It hurts me too much. <gasps> just, just hit, hit my own taxi. Just, just put humane. me in the back of my taxi cab, like in the trunk, and just sit on fire and. Oh my god, what a horrible one to die. Jesus Christ. Murder Town voted the most peaceful town in the USA in 2021 has been taken over by the Mafia. Unfortunately, they have won. Good job. Good job, Kieran. Thanks. Uh, who was your partner in crime? Uh, it was Lucy. It was Lucy. <laughs> I, there was too much heat on Lucy round one. I had to betray her and vote for her so that nobody would suspect me. I would feel amazing about winning if I was still in the game. That'd be awesome. But no, Kieran's an asshole, so. Why, why did production have Savvy go first? Why did they have her go first? I think the game would have been changed if I actually got to put in my info, but it was no, just kill Fernando. Every time, every single time. Fernando's gonna have a long talk with me on the way home. <laughs> oh, I feel great winning. Um, I'm a winner. I win almost every game I play uh, because I'm great at them. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe! <laughs>